All right, in example seven, we're asked to find the equation for a line that represents the value of Barney's food truck in example one. Okay, so let's take a look at example one here. Let's see if we can scroll up to example one <laughs> quickly. And uh, let's just recall what we did here. So uh, Barney's uh, barbecue purchased a food truck for $80,000, right? And the depreciation was $75,000. Thousand seventy five hundred, sorry, seventy five hundred dollars per year, right? So it's depreciating. the The value is going down by seventy five hundred dollars every year, and um, so we let t equals zero be the uh, time when he first purchased that food truck, right? So when t is zero, then the value of this food truck is eighty thousand dollars. So that's one point on the line. Now we also have these other points that we calculated just by subtracting $7,500 from the value every year. Okay. So um, if we want to rate, if we want to use the point slope form of a line, we just need a point and the slope. And we were essentially given the slope, right? The slope we found out was um, the change in y over the change in x. We found that the slope of this line was a negative $7,500 per year. Okay, it was the rate of change of the value over time. Okay, so we have the slope and we have a we have a number of points. So we can just choose one of them. Now I like this first point, 0, 80,000. So let's choose let's let's choose that point. Alright, so let's go back down to the example here. And we're going to use the point slope form uh, of a line, so I'll keep that uh, up there as well. All right, but in this case, it's value. the The y coordinate is the value of the of the truck, right? So um, we could just use v instead of y. And so let's write down though what we know. So we know the truck was depreciating at seventy five hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, seventy five hundred dollars a year. So the slope is negative seventy five hundred. Right, because it's, the value is going down over time. And then the point, we could use any of those points we have, but I, I kind of like the, you know, the initial point was just at time t equals zero, the value was $80,000. Okay, so we can just use that point. And then, okay, so instead of y, because I'm, I'm, um, it represents value, I can just call it v instead if I want to. So v minus the fixed point, the fixed y value, that's $80,000, right? So v minus $80,000 is equal to the slope, so negative 7,500 times x. And in this, in this case, our, our horizontal axis was, was um, the, the time, right? So really, I could just use t instead of x. All right. Sometimes it's it's helpful to use descriptive <laughs> letters rather than this plain old x and y. T for time, v for value. That that makes sense. And then um, the time coordinate of this point is just zero, so it's just minus zero. So all I'm doing is plugging in the fixed point uh, x1 and y1. In this case, it's uh, t equals zero, and and the value is eighty thousand. Uh, the slope, and then I'm using those variable, the variable point. In this case, it'll be a very um, variable t and a variable v, all right, to represent value and time. All right, so now I just need to rearrange this equation and solve for v. I want an expression for v. Now, actually, this is an equation for a line, so I could just stop here. But sometimes it's nicer to have a have an expression for the value. So if I just add 80,000 to both sides, right? I'm just going to add 80,000 to both sides. And then on this side, I have negative 7,500t, right? And I don't have to really worry about the zero. Uh, I can leave that off. And then I'm just adding 80,000 to both sides. Okay. So there's an equation for a line that represents that um, the value of the food truck over time. All right. So I will meet you in the next video.